The Assets panel allows you to save your designs or custom elements that you might want to use in future design work. It also has a collection of icons for you to use. The Assets panel can be found on the right. You can tap the category title to view the list of categories. Included with Designer is the Simply Flat Icon collection. Let's select it and take a look. Categories can be divided into subcategories, as you can see here. This collection offers a range of icons, which are great for creating infographics like the one I've been working on. Simply hold your finger or Apple Pencil on an icon and drag it out of the panel and drop it onto your artboard or workspace. When objects are saved to the Assets panel, they are not saved as flattened images. I'll use a two finger pinch to zoom in and show you on this icon. If I double tap into an object, I can access the layers that it's made up of, meaning I can select a layer and go to the colour panel to customise the colours. And I can also edit them with the Move and Node tools. You can also create your own assets. I'll use a two finger pinch to zoom out and pan down to my second example. These images would be great to keep on the Assets panel for designing floor plans, so let's create a category to save them in. Tap on the Panel Options and select Add Category and enter a name for your category. I'm going to call this category Furniture. You can sort your assets into subcategories through the Options menu to keep them organised. I'm going to add a subcategory. If I tap in the subcategory options, I can choose to add an asset or rename or delete the subcategory. I'm going to call my subcategory chairs. I'll use the keyboard this time. Now we're ready to add a design to the assets panel. I'll zoom into an object that I'd like to save and with the move tool, I'll drag across all the elements of the design. We need to make sure that we group these in the layers panel so they won't be split into separate assets. Tap on the centre icon and choose Group. Now I'll just go into the Layer Options and tap the layer name to rename it. I'll call it Chair and press OK to commit the change. Now I'll go back to the Assets panel and open the options in the subcategory where I'd like to save it and tap Add Asset from Selection. Now we have a saved asset. We can drag it out as many times as we need and because the object group was named in the Layers panel, the asset is named. They also retain their layer information, so they remain individually editable. If you no longer need an asset, you can tap it and choose Delete to remove it from the subcategory. You can also save multiple assets at once to create a library for future workflows. I'll create a subcategory and name it All. Then, with the Move tool selected, simply hold and drag to select all the objects. Then tap the subcategory where you want to save them and press Add Asset from Selection. And here you can see we've very quickly created a library of assets, which will remain here in the Assets panel, even if the workspace is closed or a new document is created. So that's it. A quick look at using assets and even creating some of your own. Thanks for watching.